The trend is your stupidly simple friend. So stupidly simple that it doesn't even need to be said. But here lies the problem. Whilst most traders are out there talking about total soup, particle acceleration and what the algorithm is going to do next, trading the trend is the simplest thing you can do that brings the most contribution towards your edge with the minimum amount of effort. By trading the trend, you are choosing the path of least resistance. A path that's going to give you that steady, exponentially growing equity curve. You might be feeling like trading's an uphill battle for you currently. Trading the trends might be the one small change you need to get over that peak and downhill. What is happening traders, today we are going to be continuing our series where we discuss every single concept that I use within my trading strategy. At the end of the video, we will have covered some examples using the strategy discussed and you'll be well on your way to understanding a strategy that has gotten hundreds of my students funded. Today, we are going to be discussing the single best way to determine what direction the market is about to move in and the direction that you are going to be placing your trades. This lesson is going to utilize a concept we discussed in the last video called Fresh Imbalance. So make sure to check that out just because we do utilize it in various different ways in our strategy. This series is essentially going to be a free course. So hit that like and subscribe button if you do learn anything. It does mean the world to me and you might just not forget your stop loss on your next trade. Directional bias is at the forefront of the majority of retail strategies. Why? Because trading with order flow is always going to bring a higher strike rate than going against it. You wouldn't place a boat in a rapidly moving river and try and row it upstream. From moving averages to daily opens to high time from structure breaks, there are an abundance of methods that traders use to find their daily bias. But there is a problem. Most of these methods are severely lagging behind the current decisions of the market. When there's been a higher time frame structure break or a moving average crossover, the trend is normally well on its way, leaving you getting in at exhausted or non-optimal price levels. My solution? Higher time frame imbalance, more specifically fresh imbalance like we looked at in the last lesson. Imbalance initiates every single trend and it occurs before any significant structure break. It shows us the direction that large market players have imbalanced the market in with a large bulk of orders relative to the time frame we're viewing. With that in mind, an imbalanced candle on any time frame will often result in an extended amount of candles following in that same direction. Again, we did cover what fresh imbalance is and how to draw it in the previous lesson, but I am just going to cover the definition of it quickly. It's simply the latest unmitigated imbalance of a new direction. So what we have here, guys, is the pound dollar, also known as the cable, and we are looking back to 2022. We're simply going to show you now some examples of fresh imbalance occurring and the market moving in that same direction of that fresh imbalance for an extended amount of days. And you are going to find that this not only happens all the time, but the amount of days that do occur that follow in that same direction of the fresh imbalance is extraordinarily high. Meaning that if you are trading in that same direction, you are going to have a massively improved strike rate. So let's look all the way back to this candle. This is on the 24th of February, if you do want to check yourself. We do have an indicator marking this blue for us, but if you don't have the indicator, guys, you can simply look at the last bullish imbalance and then find this current bearish imbalance. This is the first or the latest unmitigated imbalance of a new direction. We can see that after this candle occurred, which you would be able to mark in real time, the market then traveled for 55 candles. That's 55 days where if you were taking shorts instead of longs, you would have had a massively higher strike rate. Now we can see that the overall price action here is bearish guys, but if you were just taking shorts for the entirety of this price action, you would have missed out on plenty of long opportunities and you would have had a lower strike rate than traders that were switching their bias up between these swings and taking advantage of both directions of the market. We can see that there was a bullish imbalance candle by here, the first since this bearish one, and what followed were 17 days worth of upwards trending candles. That's 17 days where if you were trading longs instead of shorts, you would have had a higher strike rate. Now, if I switch your attention up to the top right of the chart, guys, we can actually see our custom built indicator actually marking the last fresh imbalance on each time frame. So, you know, you don't even have to just use the daily. You can use the weekly and monthly. We know that in present day in 2024, the daily is currently back in balance to the upside. So is the weekly. So is the monthly. If you are longing right now on the cable, you are going to have a much higher edge than those that are shorting. So if we go back to the charts now, guys, we can see that a bearish fresh imbalance candle formed by here. What followed 
with 23 days worth of bearish descending candles and then what followed this bullish one with 18 days worth of bullish candles and then continuing suits with this bearish imbalance candle by Hume. So just to reiterate guys what you've just seen on the chart, every single time a fresh imbalance candle forms, if you trade in the same direction of it, you will have an insanely higher strike rate than if you are trading in the opposite direction. Until, of course, the next fresh imbalance candle when you start switching your bias. Now, of course, I'm not going to leave you hanging without any examples, so we are going to go into this price action now after a daily fresh imbalance has been produced, and we are going to look at some setups that have formed in the same direction of it that have resulted in a win. I've added some vertical lines to the chart, guys, just to signify where fresh imbalance took place just so when we're looking at it on a lower time frame, we can see where the daily imbalance was confirmed. So we've moved down to the lower time frames, guys. I am on the hourly chart. We can see that there is a green vertical line here. This signifies where the daily imbalance candle was confirmed. So we know we're gonna be looking for long opportunities. Now, of course, I do enter on the 15 minute time frame and below, guys, but we are going to be using the hourly as confluence today. I do use it to mark up my liquidity and my volatility zones, which we'll also discuss in a future lesson. Same goes with our Scorch setup. So don't worry if this does confuse you whatsoever. This is just to conclude that long opportunities are going to be higher strike rates than short opportunities until the next bearish daily imbalance candle. So I'm gonna start playing price action now, guys, and I'm gonna start looking for liquidity and volatility zones. We can see that there is a volatility zone here, and I'm simply just marking zones out before fresh imbalance candles. We can see that there was also a liquidity sweep by here. If we go down to the 15 minute time frame now, we can see that the market has produced a fresh imbalance candle here during London Open. We know that this is a high volume time period. We know that there has been a sweep of liquidity. We are going to look for a long opportunity by here. We're going to place an order. We're just going to place the order at the top of the zone each time, guys. I do sometimes look for a deeper entry. We're going to look to target 5R. I'm just going to play this, guys. I don't know if this is going to tag or not. And we don't get a tag, and I would have deleted my order at this point. We're going to go back to the hourly time frame now. We're going to continue looking for confluences. We can see that there is liquidity by Q, but there is no volatility zone. And of course, this would have been late in the day around spread hours and the Asian session. We can see that there is a volatility zone here and we have got liquidity just before the zone. So if we do get a sweep into that zone, I am going to look for a long opportunity. We'll even go down to the 15 minute time frame now. We are around about midday. We may just get a setup. So we have got fresh imbalance that's been produced by here. I am going to look for another long opportunity. And we are going to target 5R on this trade. Would have been able to go break even on this, guys. We can see that the market has just about come up into our TP area. You could have even gotten away with a small stop loss on this. So that's our first trade that would have won. Again, if you were looking at short opportunities, you would have likely lost during this time. There may have been a short opportunity there. In fact, you can see if you did short from this fresh imbalance, you would have actually been able to take home a couple of arbor there but again the long opportunity is the one that has the higher win rates but also the higher return on investment we can see this nice push up now aligned with daily imbalance so we're going to go back to the hourly time frame now guys just to speed things up a bit we're going to start drawing confluences out again now i can see by here guys that there is a fresh imbalance candle so again i'm going to use this to draw my volatility zone and you will find that almost everything in my strategy is imbalance based it makes things nice and easy i know exactly what i'm looking for every single time i look at the chart and it's very high in performance so we're also going to draw out some liquidity by here we're going to start playing price action. We can also see that there is liquidity there, liquidity there. We are coming late into the day, so we wouldn't really be looking at trade at this time anyway. We'll see if we can get anything on the next day. So during the next day, guys, we can see that the market has come down significantly. You can see that the daily is still up, guys. We are still going to be looking for long setups. We know that this is likely just a short sweep before market continues in the upside direction. And if you know, if we did zoom out, guys, you'll know that it's actually a bearish trending market overall. But we are going against the herd 
and looking for long setups. So we can see that the market is coming down. It has spiked below this liquidity line into our volatility zone. We're going to go down to the 15 minute time from now. Look for fresh imbalance again. Nice and simple, guys. We can see that fresh imbalance has occurred. It's a nice blue candle. We're going to put our entry by here. We're going to put our stop loss below. And we're going to target 5 pips. 5R, sorry. We can see if you did keep your order active, you would have got a nice 5R on this trade. And now we're going to go back to the hourly time frame and we're going to continue looking for setups, guys. You can see that there is another fresh imbalance candle here. So that's another volatility zone. Another liquidity line can be drawn from here. And another one by here. There is fresh imbalance here, guys. The indicator doesn't sometimes mark it when you're on replay mode. And we're going to draw liquidity by here. So the market has come into a volatility zone, guys, which does meet one of our criteria. And with a bit of luck, we will get a sweep of this liquidity as well. There it is. And we're just going to look for fresh imbalance, guys. That's all we're doing. It's the easiest strategy ever. We can see that this is at half three just after New York opened. So there is still significant volume in the market. We can see that by the volume indicator. The daily is still upwards. We're going to look to place our order at the top of the zone. Stop loss below, 5R on the trade. And we'll see if we do get a tag on this. Market's tagged. Move this across. And we get another 5R return on that trade, guys. Now, I could sit here all day and show you examples that do prove my point. But just so you know that I'm not lying and talking out of my behinds, you can actually see if I turn my indicator on. And again, I haven't shown you the full power of this indicator, but it does mark zones the exact same way that I've been doing for you there manually. And it highlights the zones, so you can semi-automate your strategy doing this. But just to prove my point, the indicator is going to mark out some of the same zones, if not more opportunities. So you can see the first zone that we marked got marked blue. These red zones, guys, are also volatility zones. And of course, the indicator is also marking out sweeps of liquidity as well, which is what it's using to highlight these zones. We can see that the 5R trade that we took earlier did get marked by here. The indicator did actually mark a trade by here. You can see you would have probably been able to um, get out break even on this trade, if not locking in some profit. We can see that that zone we marked earlier also got highlighted. We come across, we can see that the indicator actually marked out this zone. We would have marked out a zone by here. The indicator is configurable with many different settings, so it is going to be slightly different, but it does in practice work the same way. We can see another winning trade by here. There were some losses by here, guys. This wasn't in a volatility zone, so I wouldn't have taken it. And again, with this one, the zone is far too large. But it depends on what you're trading. You can see that there was another tag into a previous score zone by here, which would have won. And also, there would have been a lovely returning setup on this highlighted zone by here. Now, this does look like the charts that some scammer on Instagram would post, guys, only showing their wins. There are going to be losses, like I showed you there, up in this region. There were some long opportunities that would have resulted in losses if you did get involved with them. Same with any strategy, but you cannot deny the performance of this when you are trading in the same direction of the daily fresh imbalance. So that's it from me, guys. I am giving away premium indicators to one of my subscribers to participate. Simply just like, subscribe, and comment down below. I do offer full mentorship, which can be found in the description and on my website. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at VegaFX and Tommy Vega on Twitter. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.